Dozens of folks spending the morning helping homeless families in Detroit. Yeah, several generous organizations are offering up free haircuts and survival kits. Fox 2's Roop Raj is live at the Cass Activity Center with more. Good morning, Roop. Uh, good morning to you. You know, we think about the homeless often during the cold winter months. You know, I've been live in front of this very place talking about the good people who need the help. But what about the hot summer months? Think about this for a moment. What do you do after you get food, you get a bath? What about a little dignity? It goes a long way. Most of us take it for granted, getting cleaned up with a fresh wash and cut. It really is a luxury. Just ask Jasmine Bennett. That's her son, nine-year-old Jalen. They fell on hard times, are staying at a shelter, and are on their way to their own place. So getting this treat today sets a tone that things are turning around. The old washed away. The new life, a cut above what they're used to. It makes them happy because he's like, I got my hair cut and you get to show it off to everybody. And it brings their self-esteem up. This is all thanks to Paul Mitchell, the school, the U First Project out of California, and Cass Community Social Services. Reverend Faith Fowler says this is more than cosmetic. It hits deeper than that. What does that do to someone when you when you help like that? It makes them feel like a person again, you know, to be cared for, important, to, to look good. Uh, so much is tied to our appearance and, and, and our cleanliness so that uh, to be scrubbed up and buffed up and sent out uh, looking good again, it, it, it lifts your spirits, it gives you hope. We're in the industry where we actually get to touch another life and you know by touching that life we can change that life and, and that's what we're here. We're here to spread the love and let them know that people care about them. The U First Project out of California proud to land in Detroit commissioning scissors and soap to give the homeless a message in the D. You're well worth it. Dignity is the number one thing that we are trying to give back. Dignity, we're creating value and we're being unified by that. You know, standing out here, I've been personally touched by hearing the stories just walking around in between the live shots and talking to these people who are just now, as you hear in the background, celebrating by doing a little dance party in the background. Uh, this is a chance for them to smile, but you heard the, the woman in the, the piece earlier say, it makes them feel like a human being again. When she said that, I got chills up my spine because why wouldn't we always be reminded of how important that is? And today's a great day to do that. By the way, this haircut program, it's taken off. Obviously, more than 65 people behind us have, have come to get the haircut, get the meal. If it continues to be this successful, they may just do it every few months like they're doing in California right now. Reporting live in Detroit, Roop Raj, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Roop, I saw a story about how they were doing this in California and it gave so much to the people who were in need. Uh, you said 65 people have come up. Uh, is that a good number? And were others reluctant to come up? I'm wondering how they're getting people to come to that haircut uh, facility because sometimes people are hesitant. There's no hesitation at all. Uh, and, and they just opened up a few minutes ago and they already have 65 and they have mm -hmm. others that are, that are kind of lining up. And so, look, here's the deal. People are walking around with food and they're leaving here with a haircut. And when they see their you know, friends on the streets, they say, hey man, where did you get that hot dog? Where did you get the haircut? And, they, yeah. and they're pointing them right here to cast. So it's pretty cool to see, Lee. Uh, definitely, it's a good thing to see. Thank you very much, Rupraj, for that live report. Yep.